Today's episode of Good Fishing with Fishing Big Guy is brought to you in part by Peanut Butter and Jelly, where every bite is almost as good as a fish's. And coffee, fueling fishermen one cup at a time. What's going on YouTube? As you can see behind me, we're going on a shopping spree today. We're out here at the outlets. Good thing is we're not going shopping there. We're going shopping there. That's right, they've got several awesome lakes that I've been dying to try. Um, I've been to these outlets a couple times with my wife and I see these lakes all the time and so I'm really looking forward to kind of pounding back these lakes and seeing if there's anything good in there because the vegetation is just awesome. Not the biggest bass fisherman in the world, but I'm going to try my hardest and see what we can do. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we need to to our first spot here. It's just right in front of my car. Didn't have to walk very far, uh, but there's these awesome little culverts right here. Feeding into these lily pads, on up into the pickerel weed. Um, I'm hoping you guys can hear me okay. Uh, there's I-75 out there. And they got a massive amount of wind hitting me, so hopefully you can hear me okay. Oh, there's a big strike right there. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Um, what I like to do is I like to start off small. This guy here, so I'll start off with this little guy right here. I like to see what the uh, babies look like, see if there's a lot of little guys here. I usually start a little bit opposite than a lot of people. I know um, search baits are usually pretty big and all that stuff, and blah blah blah, but I like to uh, start off small, see what we have there, and then kind of work my way up onto the fish, so at least I'm getting action most of the time. Uh, but yeah, it should be pretty good. I'm seeing a lot of, a lot of signs of life. There's huge apple snails all over the ground here. You can see one there, 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 there. It's all over the place. Uh, so there's usually, um, those are usually taken out by limpkins, which are actually, actually there's one over there. They love eating those guys. I don't know if you can see him, he's right there. Little limpkin, they usually uh, scream and stuff. But anyway, let's get to fishing. Enough talking, I don't have a whole lot of time. I only got a little bit here. Uh, there's three or four lakes total, so I'm gonna see what we can do with at least this one, and uh, I think this one alone is gonna give us enough, enough fun and enjoyment. So let's stay tuned, let's see what we got. the banks of this lake here um, just for sake of time I didn't get a whole lot of action on that first spot there it looked pretty good but I kind of want to see what else is going on with this lake uh, see if we can't find anything else good uh, again for sake of time I've only got about an hour or two total to fish today so I'm not gonna be able to fish these lakes thoroughly uh, as thoroughly as I would like to but the whole line of the uh, lake itself is just full of all this pickerel weed all the way around. That's where we were fishing earlier. And then the other side there is just a huge wetland of it um, with some spotted lily pads and stuff. It'd be a pretty cool lake to come out with a kayak or some sort of little boat uh, to kind of pick it off. But <clears throat> I just want to fish this end here too, give it a couple shots, see if I didn't see any uh, good spots or anything full of fish. Um, these apple snails are crazy. I mean, they're on the whole entire bank. Just lined up. Hundreds of thousands of them. Anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's try this spot up here. This is the uh, kind of the, the termination for this strip right here. Ends right there. So let's see if we can uh, set up and do something good on this end right here. Like somebody's already beat me out here.
All right, guys, so I'm giving up on this lake for now. Um, definitely seems like it's chock full of bass. I'm just not catching them. Uh, I'm not giving it a whole lot of effort, though, either. So on a day I can come back here and really fish the crap out of it, I think I will uh, just bring a whole bunch of stuff. Over at that last spot there, there was some uh, two baits and some big worms and stuff all in a blue color, so maybe somebody's already mastered it and realized that's kind of the color to get them get them going here. So I'm going to try this other lake uh, that when I first pulled in I saw, um, fished that one. Um, it was a lot bigger than I expected, it didn't even look that big on the map, uh, but it's full of, full of water, full of lily pads and all that stuff, so I'm going to pop on over there, get in my car, get a little AC. about to get real dangerous. All right, dudes and dudettes, we're at lake number two here. Beautiful looking lake. I, I know that there's gotta be just a ton of bass in here. We're gonna be fishing this area right here. Tons of lily pads, gotta come out with the frog sometime soon. Definitely a lot of tilapia. There's some, we can see it down there, along the edge there. Um, yeah, it looks awesome. Oh, there's the tilapia there. No, you're not going to see it. Anyway, uh, yeah, looks awesome. Um, definitely got some good fish in here, I guarantee it. Uh, I, I just pulled up though, so I don't know uh, how the fishing's going to be. Um, definitely underprepared. I forgot to say that I am fishing with a nice little lightweight rod and a Tika Spin Focus. 2000. All right, guys. So I was just fishing over in the uh, lake right there. I was moving spots, and I saw this. Check this out. It's pretty cool. I didn't realize that Cypress Creek ran through here, and it's as deep as it is. It's pretty freaking awesome. Cypress Creek. Oh my gosh. I hope that came on camera. All the bass down there. Yeah, we're definitely going to fish this. Oh, there's some tilapia down there. Cool. Let's see what we got. Alright guys, so yet another problem with this whole filming gig. Uh, in Wesley Chapel today it's about 832 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, there down. And uh, no, it's according to this 96 degrees. Um, I didn't have any shade out there. I've been fishing for about an hour and a half and my camera kept turning off. Um, it, it kept giving me the overheat warning so I'm going to have to build something keep it shaded the whole time and uh, keep the, the sun from hitting it and so forth. Um, did have some good fish today, um, not a whole lot on the camera. I don't think I'll have to go back and check everything, but yep, heading out of here. I need some water, um, didn't bring any and I'm sweating like crazy, uh, but it was cool. It was cool little lakes, definitely full of fish. 
Um, if anybody's been uh, debating coming out to the outlets to fish, uh, definitely do so. There's a ton of fish out here. Um, and that little creek back in there, Cypress Creek, I've never fished that. And that was cool. I didn't expect to see that back there. And I didn't expect to have so much deep water back there and whatnot. It was pretty neat and there was tons of bass and, and everything. Um, but yeah, hopefully next time get on some more fish and uh, I'll show you what I do with the camera. I, like I said, I intend on um, building some sort of shade system, I guess, to keep the sun off of it. I didn't have it in the waterproof housing. It was just out in the open and uh, I assumed that the wind was going to keep it cool, but it didn't. Uh, better luck next time though. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna say that every video until I reach at least 200. Um, I'm getting pretty close. You guys have been awesome so far. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Take it easy and tight lines.